Hello boys and girls. Today we will continue with our writing assignment for the week and we will continue with the butterfly life cycle. So yesterday we learned a lot about it because we read the book and let me grab the book for you guys so you remember. We read the book. Migration. Good. Who read this book? Raise your hand if you read this book with me yesterday. Awesome. So we learned a lot about migration and we also learned a lot about the butterfly Yes, the butterfly life cycle. Good. So what I want you guys to do this week is I want you guys to think about the steps that it takes for a caterpillar to become a butterfly. Good. So I want you guys to remember, as always, we have our check marks uh, when we do writing. When we do writing, what are the check marks that I want you guys to remember to do? Okay, what's the first thing I want you to remember when writing? Good, everyone say capital letter, uppercase. So capital letter, Misty's gonna write capital letter. And I'm gonna make sure you guys uh, remember capital letter and then I'm gonna write the letter A in the big letter so you'll know which one I'm talking about, okay? Letter A, so there goes a capital letter. For example, uppercase, okay, uppercase letter. Uh, the next thing I want you to focus on is, good, finger space. So, um, you know what, instead of writing finger space, I'll just do what I usually do, which I draw a little hand, okay? What's the next thing I want you to focus on? Good, punctuation. Okay, punctuation meaning period, exclamation, or question mark. Okay, next I want you to focus on is illustrating, illustrating. So I'm going to put like a little happy face, that means that you drew a picture. Okay, today I want to add on one more. Today I want to add um, sounding out the word. So I'm going to do the I'm going to do the, what we did at school. Um, I'm going to do a check, bo uh, check box right here. Do you guys see that? And it says C-A-T. What I did is I spaced it out, though. So it says C-A-T. Now, when you think of the word cat, you know it's spelled C-A-T. But if I don't know that, if I didn't know that, I would think I want to write I like the cat. Cat. How do I spell cat? Then you're gonna sound it out with your mouth, you know, with your inside of your head, you're gonna say cat, k, at. Well, I know I hear a k, and then I know I hear it ah, and then I know I hear it. So I'm gonna sound it out and I'm gonna try to spell it. Remember, you have to try to spell it on your own before you ask for help. So I want you to practice that at home because if you were in the classroom, Ms. D always tells you, sound it out. I want you to focus on sounding it out. Um, so instead of saying, Mom, how do you spell, think about the sounds that you hear in your, in your head when you say it. So if, if you have to put your roller coaster out and sound it out, k at, cat, k, what sound do I hear? K, what's in the middle? Ah, what's next? T, good. So I know how to sound out my words. So now I just have to put it on paper by writing those letters that I hear when I sound it out. Okay, we know what those sounds are. So by now you should be able to uh, sound it out. Okay, so that's my last checkbox, okay? All right, so here we go. Today we're gonna talk about the steps of the butterfly. Step number one is what we're gonna focus on today. Step number one, okay? So everyone should have their cover all about butterflies. I want you to draw a beautiful butterfly here. Now make sure that when you guys draw your beautiful butterflies, um, don't forget to write written and illustrated by. So on the very bottom, I'm going to write Miss D. And what are we talking about this week? Awesome. Butterflies. So in the middle of my page, I'm going to write a, a draw a big, beautiful butterfly. Okay, make sure you color it and make it look super pretty. You can put stripes. Okay. I'm going to put mine to the stripe 
stripes. Rainbow. Probably I'll probably do like rainbow stripes. How does that sound? Okay. So on and so forth. I'm gonna make it beautiful because I love my butterfly. Okay, and you can use any color, you can do any design that you want. Miss D just decided to do stripey butterfly. Okay, and then don't forget to color your page, make it look nice and beautiful. Okay, don't forget. All right, so after you're done with your cover for your book, you're going to begin writing your own book. Okay, so to this week we're focusing on the life cycle of a butterfly. Good. So I know that my table of contents will be about my five steps of my um, butterfly life cycle. So today we are going to explore step number one. So step number one is first we have an egg. So just like we learned in our book, butterflies begin their life cycle with an egg. So if we go to our table of contents in the book, which we have um, page number 30, it says from egg to butterfly. So I'm going to turn to page 30. Okay. And here we go from egg to butterfly. I will send you the book. So don't worry. I will send you the book so you can do this as well. So today we're talking about from egg to butterfly. So here it says it only has four stages, which is fine. Um, we'll talk about why we split it up into five in just a few minutes. Um, we're going to talk about the X, the last one, which will be um, butterfly. Okay. So here we have step number one. Step number one is an egg. A mother butterfly places her eggs on a milkweed leaf. A tiny butterfly egg in the size of a pinhead. The stage lasts four days. How long is he an egg for? Four days. Okay. And where does mom put him on? A leaf. What kind of a leaf? A milkweed leaf. Good. And how small is it? Good. The size of a pinhead. Okay. So that is step number one. He, she lays the egg, okay? Remember, hardworking mamas. A female carries up to 400 eggs. Ooh, that's a lot of eggs. She flies from leaf to leaf. On each leaf, she places only one or two eggs. That's a lot of work. So she places one or two eggs on each leaf, okay? So now we know a lot of information about an egg. We have a lot of information, okay? So first, I'm going to go ahead and write for tape page number one, because step number one is today. We're talking about the egg. Okay, so I'm going to write the word egg. Notice I used a capital letter, yes, to start my sentence or my word. So yes, table of contents, capital letter. Okay, um, so now I'm moving on to step number one. Step number one, I know that we talked about the egg, and if I need help, I can just go back to my book and look. But I remember some things that I just learned about step number one. So help help me out here. We talked about, yes, we talked about the mother leaving her, um, whoops, sorry, boys and girls, I dropped my marker. We talked about, yes, leaving it on a leaf, right? So here's my leaf, okay. And she leaves little eggs on the leaf, right? So I'm going to go ahead and draw a beautiful butterfly mommy. And she is leaving her little eggs on the leaf. So I'm going to draw two eggs. Why am I only drawing two eggs? Yes, because she only leaves one or two eggs per leaf. Good. Even though she has 400, she's only leaving one. So if I really want to show that, I can also draw another leaf over here. Okay, and how many leaves, uh, eggs will I draw on that leaf? Good. Maybe one or maybe two, because no more than one or two, right? Good. So here is an example of what I've learned today. I learned that the butterfly leaves eggs on milkweed leaf, okay? It has to be that kind of leaf. Why? Why is it important that it has to be a milkweed leaf? Good, because that is what baby caterpillars will eat when they are born, 
Very good. So now that we know that, and now that we know that she lays how many eggs? One or two. Only one or two. Remember that. So Miss D illustrated one or two eggs. Okay. Now, is it one or two eggs only? No, it's like 400. But here in my picture, I only showed two per leaf because she doesn't leave more than two. Only two per leaf. One or two, remember. Okay, good. So now that I know that information about the eggs, what can I write? What else did I learn about the eggs? Good. Uh-huh. Yes. And we found that information in our book on page 30, right? So remember, on page 30, we talked about what? Yes, the stage lasts for four days. Good. So that means that they are only eggs for how many days? Good. Four days. So I, yeah, I can write that too. I can write um, the stage of finger space and finger space egg finger space doesn't fit next slide of an egg lasts finger space for days and what goes at the end of a sentence good now what if i don't know how to spell egg misty egg good 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 egg good good egg good good so i know that egg good are two different letters. What letters are those? E and G, good. Sound them out, okay? If you don't know how to spell it, sound it out. Also, you guys have a list of sight words that I've sent to you for writing. So if you don't have that, go ahead and message me and I will send you a new list, okay? All right, so the stage of an egg lasts four days. Is that true? Awesome, yes, it's true. Now there's a lot of things we learned about eggs. You don't have to write the same thing Miss D wrote, okay? You can write anything you remember about the egg of the butterfly life cycle. It's okay to write different things, okay? Not everyone's gonna remember the same thing. Some people are gonna remember that only two eggs per leaf or that the eggs land on a milkweed, you know? everything is correct. All of those answers are amazing. And I want you to write this book on your own. So I want you to think about what you remember and what you love about the butterfly life cycle and rate that thought, okay? So here was my step number one. Tomorrow we will do step number two and three. And then um, on Thursday we'll do four. Friday we'll do five. I love number five.